The universe is a big place. Phenomenally big by the scale of anything we can directly experience. To be honest, we don't actually know how big it is. Though the part we can see is around 91 billion light years across. Our universe contains many billions of galaxies, the majority of which hold billions of stars. There is a whole lot of stuff out there. What we once thought was everything appears to be only around 5% of reality. Friends, do you know that what the rest of the universe is made of? The facts of what the universe was made of had begun to run out by 1933 for a Swiss astronomer named Fritz Zwicky. In the early 1990s, one thing was fairly certain about the expansion of the universe. It might have enough energy density to stop its expansion and re-collapse. It might have so little energy density that it would never stop expanding. But gravity was certain to slow the expansion as time went on. Granted, the slowing has not been observed, but theoretically the universe had to slow. The universe is full of matter and the attractive force of gravity pulls all matter together. Then came 1998 and the Hubble Space Telescope observations of very distant supernova that showed that a long time ago the universe was actually expanding more slowly than it is today. So the expansion of the universe has not been slowing due to gravity as everyone thought. It has been accelerating. No one expected this. No one knew how to explain it. But something was causing it. Theorists still don't know what the correct explanation is, but they have given the solution a name. It is called dark matter and dark energy. More is unknown than is known. The visible universe including Earth, the Sun, other stars and galaxies is made of protons, neutrons and electrons bundled together into atoms. This ordinary or baryonic matter makes up less than 5% of the mass of the universe. The rest of the universe appears to be made of a mysterious invisible substance called dark matter and a force that ripples gravity known as dark energy. We know how much dark energy there is because we know how it affects the universe's expansion. Other than that, it is a complete mystery, but it is an important mystery. It turns out that roughly 70% of the universe is dark energy, while dark matter makes up about 25%. In the 1930s, Swiss-born astronomer Fritz Zwicky studied images of roughly 1000 galaxies that make up the coma cluster, and he spotted something funny about their behavior. The galaxies moved so fast that they should simply fly apart. He speculated that some kind of dark matter held them together. Decades later, astronomer Vera Rubin and Kent Ford found a similar phenomenon when they studied the rotation rates of individual galaxies. The stars at a galaxy's outer edge should circle slower than stars near the center. That's the way planets in our solar system orbit. Instead, they noticed that the stars on a galaxy's outer skirts orbit just as fast or faster than the stars closer in. Rubin and Ford had found more evidence that some invisible form of matter is apparently holding the universe together. Even stars at the periphery are orbiting at high velocities. Rubin once explained in an interview with Discover. There has to be a lot of mass to make the stars orbit so rapidly, but we can't see it. We call this invisible mass dark matter. Scientists have not yet observed dark matter directly. It doesn't interact with baryonic matter and it's completely invisible to light and other forms of electromagnetic radiation making dark matter impossible to detect with current instruments. 
but scientists are confident it exists because of the gravitational effects it appears to have on galaxies and galaxy clusters. Scientists have a few ideas for what dark matter might be. One leading hypothesis is that dark matter consists of exotic particles that don't interact with normal matter or light, but that still exert a gravitational pull. Several scientific groups, including one at CERN's Large Hadron Collider, are currently working to generate dark matter particles for a study in the lab. Dark energy is even more mysterious, and its discovery in the 1990s was a complete shock to scientists. Astronomers have known that our universe is expanding for about a century now. Telescopic observations have shown that most galaxies are moving away from each other, which implies the galaxies were closer together in the distant past. As a result, the evidence piled up for the Big Bang. Previously, physicists had assumed that the attractive force of gravity would slow down the expansion of the universe over time. Perhaps it would even someday collapse back in on itself in a big crunch. However, when two teams of astronomers spotted something that did not make any sense. Researchers studying supernovas in the most distant galaxies discovered that distant galaxies were moving away from us faster than nearby galaxies. The universe wasn't just expanding, the expansion was speeding up. Scientists now think that the accelerated expansion of the universe is driven by a kind of repulsive force generated by quantum fluctuations in otherwise empty space. What's more, the force seems to be growing stronger as the universe expands. For lack of a better name, scientists call this mysterious force dark energy. Unlike for dark matter, scientists have no plausible explanation for dark energy. According to one idea, dark energy is a fifth and previously unknown type of fundamental force called quintessence, which fills the universe like a fluid. Some theoretical physicists think there's an entire dark realm of particles and forces out there, just waiting to be discovered. Whatever dark energy and dark matter are made of, they seem to be playing tug of war with our universe, both holding it together and pulling it apart. Finally, we can say dark matter and dark energy are the yin and yang of the cosmos. Dark matter produces an attractive force, while dark energy produces a repulsive force or anti-gravity. Friends, I hope you like this video. Please like and share my videos and if you have not subscribed my channel yet, then please subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon. Thank you for watching.